rock defense here. Wiskin 54. We're out on the range today and we're trying to kind of hide behind the the van a little bit here. We got a little bit of breeze blowing so we're trying to shelter a little bit so we don't pick up so much noise on the camera but we have got a another uh, rifle here that uh, that we want to shoot today and we want to demonstrate and show. Um, there's millions of these out there so this is not going to be a video that anybody's going to get probably a ton of new information from but uh, we got this uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, this is a, a Mosin Nagant. Um, it's a hex receiver. It was made in 1928 and uh, it's a Bischewsk uh, uh, manufacturer. And uh, this particular gun is, uh, was a, a Dragoon model that was re-arsenaled uh, later sometime uh, after World War II probably. Um, it's got a, a more modern stock on it, but the rifle itself is matching numbers. All the chefs uh, manufacture, made in 1928, and uh, it fits on the criteria of the Dragoon, so it was one of the last uh, Dragoons that were manufactured, and um, it's in pretty darn good shape. Uh, the barrel's in pretty good shape, and um, so, you know, it, it is your typical Mosin Nagant. It's got a very nice, you know, bolt, bolt works really well. Uh, wood is really nice. Um, you know, it's a nice gun. Uh, once again, there's no cameraman, so when I point it down, down uh, at the camera, don't get excited. No cameraman, uh, just me. Uh, so anyway, here it is. Uh, we like it. Uh, it's in great condition. Wood's pretty good. I, I got it from uh, Classic Firearms, and they um, they were kind. Of, I think they're trying to clear them out. They probably had them forever. And um, it was two, 279 maybe, I don't know, something like that. But, um, but the hex receiver, uh, I like the hex receivers. Um, I've got, we're all, we've also got here, uh, we, we picked up not too long ago, and we've done a video, a uh, Finnish M39 hex receiver. It's a much older receiver than this, but it's also a Shevsk. has the same uh, bow and arrow markings on it. But we're going to shoot this one today and see how she does. And um, I've got some, some uh, oh, PPU uh, 7.62x54, 182 grain. We're going to start with this and uh, see how she does. And I've also loaded some 310, just a few 310. Uh, cartridges and 180 grain as well and uh, we're gonna see how they shoot um, so you know we'll see the uh, they're the see they're the the uh, they're Hornady's I think that the uh, 310 diameter it's a Hornady so uh, so we're gonna do that right now and uh, see how she does and uh, should be fun here we go and here we go. Not bad. Not too bad. She loads really well. Very smooth. These uh, most sins are usually pretty decent. And this one's in pretty good shape, so... I'm trying to shoot off the bench here. Well, not really the bench, more like the card table. But, you know, you use what you got. bad. Alright, 
That's it. Let's go down and take a look. Look at that and mark them. Ah, there we go. Not too bad. Not a bad group. I was aiming at the bottom of the ball, right down at the bottom. And uh, they grouped pretty good. There's a couple of them together. One is probably kind of a flyer, but uh, not bad. Not bad. Definitely combat accurate. Interesting how it's two and two and two and two and one out. So I'll mark those, and that was the PPU. We're at about mm, just short of 50 yards, probably. So we'll mark those and go shoot some more. Okay, here we are again. We went down and checked them. Um, we got a pretty good group down there. We're definitely shooting high. I was aiming bottom of the ball and they ended up at the very, just above the top of the black, so that's typical. Um, so that was PPU. And, uh, that PPU over here. Whoops. That was, uh, I think these are uh, 311 diameter, I believe. I measured them, I believe they're 311 diameter. Um, that's the PPU. Now let's shoot some 310 diameter. I didn't load very many of them, but we got some 310 diameter here. We'll take out three of them and see where they shoot. I did not, uh, I have not slugged the bore on this gun, so I'm assuming it's a 310, 311. Um, that's pretty standard, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how these, how these shoot, if they're any better. All right, we'll load three. All right. There we go. This is hand loaded stuff. So it's not going to be as loud. It's not as much powder. It's not loaded near as hot. Alright. 310. Go down and check that. Wow. This small sin. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. We only shot three. Same distance, same gun. My gosh, that's an X. That's a 10. That's a 9. That was uh, the 310 diameter. It's actually 0.3105. So just slightly bigger than 310 diameter. Hornady loaded over uh, 4064 IMR 4064 powder. But, and again, I was aiming bottom of the ball down here. Wow, that is, that's, it looks to me like that's a load. There's the PPU clear up here. That's a little, was loaded a little hotter. But when I download it at this 50 yard, 50 yard distance, downloaded using the 310 Hornady, wow, I was aiming right there, and I got it right there, right there, and right there. That is, that's kind of impressive. And I think that uh, that uh, Mosin Dragoon obviously likes the 310 Hornady. Uh, it's a little bit, it's a longer bullet. Uh, I think it's a uh, boat tail as well. 
but that loading looks like a pretty nice loading. Wow, wow, that's cool, that's impressive. All right, well, that's, that's exactly what we're wanting to find out. What's the right loading? What's the right loading for this rifle? It looks to me like the three, 310 uh, downloaded a little uh, with the Hornady is likes that better than the 180 grain PPU. Cool. Okay, time to look at this gun. Uh, this is a sweet one. Uh, like I say, there it is. It was a uh, Dragoon 1928 Ashevsk. And uh, you know, uh, the, you can see the wood's in pretty decent shape for a gun this old. Of course, yeah, they were all re-arsenaled by the Russians, so this isn't exactly the the wood that was on it. It's got the World War, the post-war, uh, they're not screwed in right there, which means this is post-war. Uh, so this was all done. That's got the, you know, this here, which you don't see a lot. But uh, it's a... Uh, it's the hex, the hex receiver. So there you can see the hex receiver. And uh, well you can see the date on there. 19, 1928. And you can see the Russian writing on it. You can see the Russian writing. There's the, you know, the stamp. All the Russian writing. There's the bow and arrow, the Shevsk, 1928. Um, uh, the bolt numbers match. Of course, you know they could have been force matched. So who knows? When it goes back into the to the armory, a lot of times they just force match some of that stuff. But uh, but it's cool. It's very cool. And of course, everybody's got a Mosin, you know. There's the serial number on the butt right there. A lot of marks on the wood. You can see the wood's got some uh, stampings on it. It's got the, uh, the Z mark right there. And right in here, it's kind of faint. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but that means it's been re-arsenal. The square with the line through it means it's been re-arsenaled. Um, which is normal for this. This one, this one was uh, didn't have a ton of cosmoline in it, but uh, you know it had some. But uh, nice gun, nice gun. I don't think I paid a ton for it. I mean, they weren't like the ones you used to be able to get for you know like a hundred bucks or anything. But uh, but uh, I I like it. But it's a it's a good one. It's a good shooter, and obviously. It likes the 310 Hornady. So here's my note sheet. Here's my note sheet. That one, uh, they're 0.3105 Hornady, 174 grain. Those are the ones that landed in the bullseye, right in the X. Uh, and then here is the, here's the PPU, 182 grain. Uh, factory PPU, and I think that's a three. I think I measured out the calipers. I think that's a 311 diameter. So obviously this baby likes the uh, more narrow uh, diameter bullet, and uh, and downloaded. Of course, that uh, for 50 yards when I download it, uh, you know it changes the sights a little bit, but uh, doesn't it doesn't when I shoot bottom of the ball with the downloaded round. It drifts it right up into the bullseye, which is nice. And when I shoot this factory load, it drifts it right up over the top of the black completely into the white. But uh, anyway, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, there's the there's some of the ammo, and uh, another look at the gun, and uh, we'll say see you later.